Hey, all you cool cats and kittens out there. What happened to your beard? Quarantine got the best of it. So many of you are still under quarantine or under the stay at home order. So today, we're gonna show you how to have a wine date night over Zoom. And even if you aren't under quarantine, maybe you and your significant other are in a long distance relationship and you're looking for something to kinda spice up your date night. These tips will work great for you too. Hey guys, I'm Ken. And I'm Olivia. And we're Wine Therapy. So today, to help you with this wine date night over Zoom, we're gonna give you two wine options and two charcuterie boards to go with them. The idea behind this is that you can buy all of these items on Instacart, or you can even just drop off these items at your significant other's place in case you're trying to quarantine away from one another. And that way you can both enjoy these items and wine over Zoom. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. So again, we designed two charcuterie cheese boards around two different wines. Pinots, actually. One Pinot Grigio, one Pinot Noir. The Pinot Grigio is a safe bet for a variety of palettes and it pairs well with the charcuterie board. And the Pinot Noir is a really good bet too because it's a little bit more complex in flavor as compared to the Pinot Grigio. So let's start with the Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio in general is a light, fresh, crisp, and refreshing type of wine. For example, we chose Essenza di Vita Pinot Grigio della Venezia 2018. This Pinot Grigio is medium bold, dry, and has medium acidity. It has citrus fruit notes, tree fruit notes, and earthy notes to it. And we know it's a large bottle, so don't let that scare you off, but it's still rated by the DOC, and it had a very high point score. Gruyere is a perfect cheese to go with this wine. That's because it's typically sweet, salty, and has just a little bit of a nutty flavor to it as well, which really helps to accentuate the flavor in that Pinot Grigio. So the best type of salami to pair with this wine and cheese combo is a Genoa salami. Genoa salami is often made with a combination of pork and beef. It also has hints of red wine and plenty of garlic. So pairing a light, crisp, and refreshing Pinot Grigio with the Genoa will help balance the fat in the salami. And then there's the Pinot Noir option. The Pinot Noir is a really good option if you're looking for something with a little bit more complexity to the flavor, or if you or your significant other likes red wine. So for our date night selection, we went with Annabella Pinot Noir from 2017. This Pinot Noir is medium bold, smooth, dry, and kind of has a medium acidity to it. It has red fruit notes, black fruit notes, and oaky notes to it. To go with the Pinot Noir, we chose a Havarti cheese, actually. Havarti cheese is a semi-soft cow cheese that has a creamy texture. It has a buttery aroma and it's slightly acidic. And it's also a cheese that everyone likes. You can even find it flavored with herbs and spices. Also, to go with this Pinot Noir, we would recommend going with an Italian salami. Italian salami would pair perfectly with Pinot Noir. The mellow tannins in the Pinot Noir complement the fat within the meat. Also the pure fruity flavor and acidity in the Pinot Noir really help to bring out the flavors within that Italian salami. Because you stuck around to the end, we're gonna give you a few tips or extras to go along with the charcuterie board. So for your wine zoom date, if you choose to add in charcuterie and cheese, you're gonna wanna stray away from really bold wines. Wines like a Cabernet Sauvignon. Really bold wines, overpower the flavors in the meat and the cheese. You're also gonna to wanna to stray away from Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc does not complement the fat within the meat or the cheese, so it just doesn't taste as good with it. Also, if you want some crackers to go along with the charcuterie board, we recommend a very light, simple cracker that will not overpower the meat and the cheese and not add too much complexity to the taste. You can also add fig jam or olives if you want to spice up your charcuterie board a little bit. 
And don't forget the flowers, guys. Who said chivalry's dead? So that's it. We hope you have a fun date, and you can let us know how it goes in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in our next video. Stay safe out there. Cheers. Cheers.